Okay, now it's time for chest, shoulder, and tricep area. Now, people come to both of our offices because they want to see the newest and the best out there. So, this is a new stretch. You've probably never seen it before, but it's very, very important that it's done properly. That's why we're going to have Dr. Gene show you. So, what we're going to start with, um, we're going to start uh, sitting face up, and you're going to bring both your hands behind your back, and what you're going to do at this point, hold on, you're going to keep your hands right there and your feet right here, and you're going to slowly scoot your lower body forward. That's good, right there. And right until you feel the pressure or the tension in your chest. So it's important to go in that direction and not just stick your arms out because you can wind up hurting yourself. So right from here, all you're going to do is cross one leg over. And now we're going to be stretching this side of the chest right here. And the way you're going to control this stretch is by using this leg here. So nothing else moves except for this leg and that's going to bring tension right into the front of the shoulder and the chest area. And then you're going to repeat on the other side. And now to get out of it, we're going to reverse this. So rather than just lifting your arms up, we're going to slowly scoot back. Now your arms are in a stronger position and you can let go. And now right from there, this we're going to... This is going to be the combination. This is the second part of the stretch. We're going to lay on your side. And for this one, we're going to use your chin to actually stabilize your shoulder. So you're going to dig your chin right into the shoulder blade. Now that shoulder is going to stay on the mat the entire time. You're going to bring this arm up and you're going to pull your, uh, let's bring this under your triceps. And you're going to pull your triceps towards your body here. Just like that. For a lot, of tw a lot of tension into that area as that's being pulled. And for people with any rotator cuff injuries, keeping that chin on the shoulder is especially important because it's going to keep that rotator cuff and shoulder in its socket. And this is a great uh, tricep exercise. So I see a lot of people doing this one where you stand over your head. This is way safer because you're stabilizing it with the and gravity and your chin. More, way more isolated too. Yeah. Because so you're using the, the way the mat is and the way you're holding into that area. Exactly. The only thing stretching here is the tricep where when people are doing this one, you know, you're winding up torquing your neck or not really getting the effect of stretch. Uh, also brings up a great combo. Um, this is this next one maybe a touch on the more on the advanced side, but um, most people should still be able to do it. Uh, you're going to put your arm at 390 degree angles. So this arm is going to be 90 degrees to your body. We're going to bend the elbow 90 degrees and then the hand 90 degrees. So 390 degree angles. And it's important again, we're going to keep the chin pushing down on the shoulder. And then the entire stretch is going to be performed with your other hand. You're going to use your hand to push and you're going to go as far as you can until the fingers touch the floor. Now, if you can't get this far, don't worry about it, but I would recommend to not go any further than that because then you're starting to really overstretch the uh, ligaments in the shoulder there. So if you can get your fingers to the floor with this one, you're good. You don't really need to get it much further. Yeah, and just be careful of this one, just even from a pain standpoint, if you feel like a little bit, of, you're, you're definitely going to feel a stretching in there, but if you feel like something is kind of moving out of place, just hold it, don't, you don't have to get your fingers. It's, it's difficult what Jane is doing right here. But this is an angle most people don't know even how to hit. So being able to get to this one is great for any, uh, anyone that plays sports involving throwing, like football, you know, baseball, whatever.